live from the Nevada City City Hall and Filibuster Center. Outside, and then no smoking in the entire fucking city unless you have pot amphitheater. It's Cocktails with Heather. Starring Heather Diane. Captain Papaya Picklefingers. Hi, ho. And me, Mike Sutherland. Today on the show, dear Miss Heather, our fetish of the day is pegging. Oh, <laughs> yes. We read from the book of the lubricated aunt. Actually, we do our poor decisions first. Per. Per, per decisions. Per decisions. Well, poor, but it has the umlaut over it. Oh. Decisions. I like it when we say per decisions. Per decisions. We drink That's from purple. the book of the lubricated aunt. Mm. And of course, we have our drink of the day, as always, here. So let the shenanigans begin again, everybody. A cocktail's in. A cocktail's in. <laughs> Dear Miss Heather, I think yes. my significant other's kind of kinky. Yes. Oh. He likes some serious ass play. <laughs> At first, I thought it was cool. He's clean down there and always makes sure that he showers before we do anything. However, is slowly graduated from vibrators to dildos. I looked it up, and it's called pegging, and I'm not sure if I can handle this. Is there a middle ground that we can meet in? What, wait, what's what's in between that? Fisting? Would, <laughs> I don't know. I think the fist is a little bit larger than a dildo. Well, okay, so vibrators to dildos, are those the same things? Well, you could get a really large dildo, but pegging is generally... I mean, a dildo is technically a, a vibrator without the vib- vibration, right? I Isn't think it? so. Uh, I mean, yeah. Or, you sure. know, maybe you're thinking like the big, like, maybe they're thinking like or the big. The big rubber bendy? Yeah, like the one that actually looks like a schlong. Yeah, that's kind of what a dildo Like is. a strap on thing. Yeah, that's I don't, I don't know what, what a middle ground is <laughs> on that. Like fingers? Is she comfortable with fingers? I don't know. Hmm. That's interesting. So, yeah, I don't. That's, a That's not a photo that I want to see when that I'm That looks like some pegging. ass play right there. <laughs> Put it in my butt. <laughs> pegging. <laughs> Put it in my butt. Get on with it. <laughs> Get on with it. <laughs> pegging. Get on with it. Okay. I mean. Put it in now. This is one of those things that's like some people are just into that a lot more. So, I mean, this is something she really needs to. You know, if he's going to be satisfied, I mean, he's if he's really into it, then he's probably going to be seeking that out. At some what point. the fuck was that? I don't know what the I fuck think that it was, was. Somebody wearing a condom as a is hat. That she, no, yeah, no, I think yeah, she's going to fuck his ass with her head. What no, that? that is a dude wearing a condom hat. Condom hat. Why? I don't know. Why? What? Well, here, if I can go to Wikipedia and ask them. I don't know if you could do it. Huh? <coughs> So uh, oh, okay, well that's a that's a visual. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, okay. Pegging is a sexual practice in which a woman performs anal sex on a man by penetrating the man's anus with a strap-on dildo. The practice may also involve stimulating the male's vagina. The male's vagina? Did you just say that? The male genitalia. Did oh, I say vagina? Yeah, you yeah. did. I did I say like, vagina. You could just say I man like, pussy from oh, now on. Okay. Well, that's yeah. Your prison purse, whatever you want to do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what prison purse? Call me Joey. Okay. Are we just now? Are we just now noticing? No, I, I hide it in my pouch. <laughs> He's. Are you writing down prison purse? Uh huh. The prison purse. That is the name of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, good job. Good job. So, like, I mean, I personally, I don't see anything wrong with this. I think you should call it "Take It Down a Peg or Two." As long as he still likes <laughs> doing you, and he just likes some stimulation. You notice how I just ignore his puns. Then I I don't see what the problem is, but obviously you're having an issue with it. I mean, is he gay? You suck. Well, or you could suck and do that. Like I don't know. There's got to be a way to to do this. I don't know if he likes to have the stimulation at the same time. I don't know. If <laughs> I don't. I you know is he still interested in heterosexual sex? Like, I, well, yeah. I, I think mean, I've said this before, the, if but if, if something comes near my ass, it just makes me feel like taking a dump, dude. I I don't. It just it ain't for me. Okay. I'm and I'm willing to try some things, but I I just. I, I just I know it. It ain't for me. Well, I mean, what it comes down to is, what's I mean, I is just, there a middle ground? I I don't I don't know. I just never. I'm not turned on by the fact the woman coming from behind me and fucking doing that to me. I, I just okay, but this is not about you. Well, is now what it's we're all them. supposed to be talking about? I mean, is there a middle ground? I don't think there's any middle ground. It's either. going to happen, Joe. In this one, it's going to happen. So it has nothing to do with a guy or a girl trying to put something in your butt. Look, both people have to be comfortable with this. It's that simple. She has to be comfortable doing it. Uh, you know. And he's got to be okay with her doing it. 
So if she's not okay doing it... I'm going to read this again so you understand the entire thing. Middle ground, yeah. I think my significant under is kind of kinky. He likes some serious ass play. At first, I thought it was cool. He's clean down there, blah, blah, blah. However, it slowly graduated from vibrators to dildos. Yeah. I looked it up, and it's called pegging, and yeah. I'm not sure if I can handle this. Yes. Is ne- there a middle ground? Next thing you know, it'll be fucking gerbils. It has nothing to do it. with comfort zones or anything else like that. This stuff is already happening. Yeah, and she's, she's, she can't um, handle it. Yeah. She, she's, no, that's not what she said. I'm not sure if I can handle it. Is there a middle ground? I don't understand. I, she's I, not sure if she can do the pegging, Joe. Yeah. I, I, th- that's what it comes down to. Is there a middle ground? I don't know if I can handle putting something that big up his butt. Maybe something smaller. Maybe we can slowly do this. That's not the way I'm taking it. I'm taking. I don't it care how you're. I don't. It, it doesn't matter how you're taking it. This is exactly how it's written. I thought I just meant she doesn't want to stick things in her fucking husband's ass at all. Well, I, it's she, slowly graduated from vibrators to dildos. Yeah, he's fucking seeing how far I can get with her. All of a sudden, he's probably going to be. Oh, bring your fucking uncle in here and let him fucking cornhole me. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. 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 I don't know. Maybe he wants that, or maybe he just likes butt play. I, he I, likes her, but he likes butt play. I do have a question, though. Why is there a game called cornholing? I've it's never hilarious, understood that. I guess. I've never understood why they call it cornhole. <laughs> it's a southern game. <laughs> of course oh. it is. <laughs> Ain't nothing else to do down there except, yeah, yeah. Why do they call it cornhole? It looks like a glory hole on the ground. Cornhole board you'll love. Yeah, it looks like a glory hole on the ground. It, 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 yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I just had to bring that up because we brought up because the significant other is playing cornhole tomorrow. And she's in Dallas. Mm. Uh, throw your bag in a hole. I don't throw your bag in a hole. Why are we on this now? I don't really see any middle ground. Like if he wants to do that, and you've already done the lesser stuff. Like the middle ground is like I'm. I'm guessing like no butt play or like a lot of butt play so middle ground is like finger play minor stuff but if he wants to go further than that then that's where you have to have that discussion of it sounds like hey, he's testing her to see how far he can go i don't want to i don't want to actually peg you like all the way but like i'm comfortable occasionally putting a vibrator in your butt where's while I the give you a hammer. like is it going to be where he only wants fucking ass play well maybe that's where she's concerned yeah so where is the middle ground? Where do you where do you put your foot down and say this is? Um, I think the middle ground is have a fucking conversation, and let's work this shit out and figure out what who the fuck what do you want? Where do you want this to fully go to? Well, I th- okay, communication. I mean, this always boils down to fucking communicate, talk to each other. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, absolutely communicate. Let's 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 find out what this middle ground is because I really I I don't know what the middle <laughs> ground is. I mean, I guess you start like. Butt touch, um, butt lick, finger and butt, and then you go further to we'll well, put a vibrator in there, right anal there. beads. Do you like some serious ass play? Which so. which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. I don't think it's a big deal. And I guess even you know, again, pegging is fine if he's still interested in you. But if I mean, my question would be, just make sure he's obviously. It's not going to go from fist to fucking gerbils to russet potatoes. Russet potatoes. That's where it ends. Yeah, this is this is gateway play to potatoes in in jars of smuckers. It's gateway. Gateway. It's gateway sex. It's gateway sex to shampoo bottles. Pegging is a gateway sport. Yeah, pegging is gateway sport to starches. (laughs) Speaking starches, starchy vegetables. Okay. (laughs) Next thing you know, it's corn, potatoes. (laughs) Trip dip. A trip dip is when a single player cornholes three out of the four bags in a single round. That's wrong. They're even making up wrong sounding things for this. Shucker. <laughs> you can't sh- have a hooker in sh- cornhole. No, a shucker. When a player pitches a bag and it strikes the opposing player's bag <laughs> and it knocks it off the board. No, this is all wrong. Somebody made this up and like as a joke. A right? Double Dutch shucker. How about a Madden when a player violently throws the bag at the opposing <laughs> player? Hookers, yeah. The bag hitting the board and hooking or curving around a blocker and going in the hall. <laughs> this is actually funnier than I thought it would be. Ace or cow pie. <laughs> and that's when the bag lands People on the board. Do oh, that's what it's, it's they're from throwing cow pies. Uh, Airmail. A bean bag that does not slide or bounce on the board but goes directly in the hole. <laughs> Back Airmail. door or dirty roll up. See from this is much hole. better. This is this See? is this is much better. That somebody made this game up as a joke, I bet you. No, and this... And they were like, oh, just throw it to the hole. Like, oh, we're going to cornhole you. 
Or the maybe, game or maybe your mind is just in the gutter. The game described in Hey Liger De Vince's 1883 patent. So this yeah. game is like fucking 200, 300 years Wouldn't old. Wouldn't it way more likely be made up back then for with sexual you know, innuendos? Because there's nothing else to fucking do back then. There was no TV to watch, so... Yeah, maybe they had to come up with sexy, you know, with with a uh, subtle or not so subtle fucking. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be like horseshoes by throwing steel discs at a metal spike. Uh, parlor qua patents that sought to recreate the qua gameplay in an indoor environment. He was for the first used beanbags and a slanted board with a hole as a target, and then it was sold to a uh, Massachusetts toy manufacturer. Blah blah blah. I, I like the terminology, though. You have backstop, block, confusion, cornhole, or Drano. I like a Madden. Who <laughs> maddens when a player violently throws the bag at an opposing player? Said that. Cornholio, <laughs> such as grand bag or as just cornhole, <laughs> depending on cornholio. region. The alter ego of the character. Well, this name for the alter ego of the character, Beavis. Uh, dirty bag. A bag that is on the ground or is hanging off the board, touching <laughs> the ground. <laughs> Flop. Yeah. Grand bag. Grasshopper. Madden, Parago, where a player refuses to play Bago because they're intimidated by their competitors. Police is a cornhole referee. Sally, Alvord, or Corn Patty. And that's, you know, Screaming Eagle. Yeah. Short bag. Shucker, skunk, slider. Slippery granny. Scoring three bags in a row on the board. Swish, trip, dip, wash, and a woody. Damn. What the fuck is wrong with Southern people? Well, I miss Lombard. They also play shuttlecock. <laughs> I, mi- I miss my donkey. So, shuttlecock, <laughs> which is still one of my favorite names of anything in sports. Shuttlecocking. Shuttlecock. So pegging, pegging as a pegging. sport. I think pegging's a would Ryan sport. do it? I don't know if he'd go the full peg. <laughs> I think a finger's fine. I didn't I'm mean to bring up his name, but guessing j- j- just anal a, beads. Just a prostate massage here or there. Yeah, I think that's that's all fine. I think pegging is different. I think that's like too gay, even for him. <laughs> too gay? That's too gay for him. German too sparkle gay. party is too gay. You know, you can, he likes to play the who's gayer game as like a, a sick, demented who's male gayer? game of chicken. You know, like More who's like going to try to out gay? You know how when the guys try to out gay each other? Like I always say, you can't out gay my husband because he he just doesn't even care. He's so he's. It's so, like trying to out gay me and Mark. Right. He's right. so deeply deeply rooted in his in his heterosexuality that he cares not. Right. And so uh, people who are more picky about it used to think or or think, oh my god, he's totally gay because look how he is. You know, where he jokes around for mm-hmm. a and he don't give a fuck. But I actually think if you tried to put like a, a a replicated penis in his butthole, I think he'd probably be like, you know, I think this is where I really need to draw the line. Like this is my hard line right here. He'd be like, I don't know. You know, you I'm just, good. You, I mean, you just refuted everything you said that he can out gay anybody. That's different. When the guys are like, oh, you know, ha ha, you know, and they joke around, he'll like come Touch up his and penis. like rub your back mm. and stuff like that. I tell I tell people that all the time. I'll be like. Don't try to out gay him because next thing you know he'll be grabbing your junk. Yeah. And you'll be like, Oh yeah, grab my junk and be like, Okay. Just to Just be to the one up guy. He's right. gotta be the one up guy on the Pitch that the stuff. tip. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll look you right in the eyes as I'm giving you a handy. I don't give a shit. Well he'll tell you that and like it usually makes most guys back down because he can like get to that level where they're yeah, like Yeah, uh, gaze them. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, what are you afraid of, Sally? Someday he'll get the guy that'll be like, Fuck yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm Just excited that, now. That look. Yeah, you go, we right go. Right you want to, you you want to do that? Right, I'll be like, ah, I have made. Re- put, I instantly regret my decision. As long as you put a finger in my butt, yeah, massage please. that process. Honey, you, I'm sorry, he me? wouldn't back down. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't why do you back? have jizz on your face? <laughs> <laughs> why, why is the right side? I couldn't of your let face, him out, gamey. Why is the right side of your face sticky? <laughs> couldn't let him out, gamey, hon. I couldn't. <laughs> Why is your facial skin so silky smooth? Yeah, Whoa. I don't. I actually don't know <coughs> that I'm aware. I mean, I know gay men. I'm sure they enjoy good pegging, literally. I, I don't know. I've, I understand from what I understand, most gay men, most gay men, mm-hmm. th- this could be wrong, aren't into the whole putting their dicks in other people's butts. Really? Well, yeah, it's kind of gross. I mean, I mean, they like to suck and jerk it and whatever else, but. Like anal sex, that's oh, no. like for the hardcore. 
guys. Oh, yeah, really? I mean, you're risking disease, or not disease, but I mean, you're risking uh, the, the well, it, it, technically the hepatitis, right? Because mm. I do know gay men that actually do that. do that. Yeah, yeah. But that's it, just the, from what I understand, um, and I'm not an expert by any means, but uh, aren't you? I the uh, <laughs> one of my gay friends is very yes. open to the fact that he is a giver. Right, but not a receiver necessarily. So he's a he, so he will put it in. He's a top. Butt, I've learned that not, yeah, yeah about lesbians the same thing. I've, I've I've known lesbians where one is only a giver and then there's others that, that yeah. do both or it's just a take. You could do that as a lesbian. Sloppy yeah, there's some lesbians bottom. that don't like women to go down on them. They just want to go down on women and fucking make them come. Yep. Oh really? Oh yeah, they're like the butch ones. The butch ones love to give it and not receive it. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're the Ew. men. Ew. Okay. No, not always, but that's just the one the ones I've encountered. Yeah, see, that'd be like... The ones I've dated. That'd be the portion <laughs> that I wouldn't be interested in. <laughs> like, yeah. no, thank you. I don't want to do that. So there's a few instructional movies and books that have emerged in recent years, including Bend Over Boyfriend, 1998, mm. based on a series of lectures and workshops by Robert Lawrence and Carol Queen and co-produced by Fatal Media. The movie was created and directed by Shaw Rednor, Rednor. and Jackie Strano, mm. Sir Drano. Video Movie Movie's co-founders. Bend Over Boyfriend originally inspired Dan Savage to call the act bobbing, but his readers subsequently voted on the term pegging. I like pegging better because you get pegged. <laughs> Pow. Pow. Peg it. American pornographic film director and sex educator Tristan Teormino released an instructional pegging movie in 2009 by Vivid Entertainment. Do you really need a guide for this? Tristan Tau Tau. Tower, I don't know. Tower Minos. Tower Minos, yeah. Yeah, Tower Minos. Expert guide to anal pleasure for men. Featuring a detailed explanation about male anal pleasure and strap-on dildo sex. In it, she okay, teaches a workshop with instructions and skills for safe and pleasurable female-on-male anal sex. There are three scenes in which pairs of pornographic actors explore different sexual devices and positions for pegging. I, can't, I, I got the idea from watching Happy, because <laughs> in one of the episodes... Or Deadpool Part 1. From Happy, because in one of the episodes near the end, um, the the main character who is played by... Uh, God, why can't I remember his name now? Yeah, Christopher Maloney. Thank you. One is strapped to this gurney-type thing, mm-hmm. and and uh, the, the, the guy that plays the bad guy, uh, the character's name is Smoothie, but I can never remember his name either. Yeah. And, uh, and there's a reason why they call him Smoothie, so he takes off his pants, and he has no genitals. Oh. And he and he puts on a strap on, and and Christopher Maloney's character is completely nude <laughs> oh and God. bent over, right? And so he goes up behind him, and then you know he's just about to be rescued, but, 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 but yeah, but, but yeah, he the, the pegging happened, <laughs> and that's what's so. It's great okay, about Christopher that show. Maloney's g- in good shape. He's got a good body. Good. So you should watch Happy, by the way. I watched some of it. I just haven't been able to watch any more of it i don't think i think we started watching it it is a lovely, lovely it is show. a funny show i, I can't um, i i don't <laughs> suggest binge watching it like you probably do two episodes at a time because otherwise it gets a little too dirty you feel like you gotta take a shower kind of thing yeah i don't think i'd have that problem but <coughs> uh, yeah i love watching a couple episodes at a time it's hilarious um there is an author by the name of violet blue who uh totally wrote, not a stage name wrote and released the adventurous couple's guide to strap on sex in 2007 since 2010, the sex educator by the name of Ruby Ryder has been running a blog and podcast entitled Pegging Paradise. Okay. As of September, the podcast has 166 episodes. Do you need 166 episodes to discuss pegging? Yes. Isn't it kind of just like put on a strap on and put it in your dude's butt? Mm. Why do you need 166 episodes? Uh, I guess there's variables. Yeah. Of, of what? Of what? I don't know. Fucking olive juice or something? I don't fucking know. You Double can try anal? Shit. Yeah. Uh, this year we tried to uh, this 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 time we tried tapioca pudding with it. I don't fucking. I mean, know. we could go through and find out. Well, I guess I have homework now. <laughs> she also runs the instructional site Pegging One Hundred and One, oh. which is especially targeting those interested in pegging with no interest in the association with BDSM. Okay, well, I mean, I know that can also <laughs> be a, a like a torture thing of BDSM, where you you know peg them as when they're not really excited about it. I, but I mean, if they're willing. And there's bisexual dudes, too. Maybe he's a little bi and he just doesn't want to do it with dude. I mean, I'd rather, if my dude was bisexual, I'd rather peg him than have him, like, have some creepy homo sex. Yeah, and then bring that home to you, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. not interested in that shit. I'll, I'll peg you. Thanks. So, this Violet Blue person 
um, I'm comfortable wearing a strap on. Has has <laughs> been in the news because she sued a porn star by the name who was using the name Violet Blue. So in October 7, 2007, Violet Blue filed a lawsuit against adult actress Ada Mae Johnson, who mm-hmm. used the stage name Violet Blue. She had been performing as Violet Blue since 2000, alleging that Johnson had adopted Blue's persona and her recently trademarked name. You can't trademark a name if uh, if somebody's been using that name since 2000 and then you trademark the name seven years later. You can't retro sue somebody. I mean, obviously you can. You should be able to retro sue somebody and say you can't use that, even though you've been performing under that name since 2000 or or prior to that. But I mean, technically, normally someone shouldn't come out and be like, "I'm not going to come out and be like, my name's Henry Rollins and I'm famous." Right. She said she had been using the name in writing since 1999. The blah blah blah, uh, unfair business practices. So if you've been using the name since 1999. And she's been performing since 2000, and now you have a problem with it, like seven years later? I have a problem with that. What if also she didn't even find out that she was using the name until 2007? You know? Like, I mean, how often are you really going to know, that unless you purposely set out to look and find out there's someone else with the same name as her? (laughs) And then in 2008, she saw restraining, restraining orders against online critics David Birch and Nina Alter to prohibit them from emailing her or editing her Wikipedia page <laughs> or writing unkindly about her online. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Nice. Well, they were both dismissed, so. I wonder what they were doing to her Wikipedia page. I don't know. I, I mean, look, it, you, at some point you need to fucking get over the whole she sued another porn star for use of name. If her real name is Violet Blue, she didn't want that person using Violet Blue. I mean, like, th- this is just a... This is just a snippet of all the shit that happened. Maybe she wrote her a letter and said, hey, would you stop using that name so that because it's kind of interfering with my business and people are confusing us? Thinking that I'm also you as a porn star. Exactly. So, um, you know, that's that's what it comes down to. And she must have seen that name somewhere to use it because, I mean, who just pulls violet blue out of their butt? (laughs) Yeah. Her boyfriend. (laughs) Ha! Uh Ha! Pegging. Pegging. It goes right back to pegging. <laughs> Shall we? So on a different note, I saw on the internet, it's talking about butts. <laughs> That's not really that different. Yeah, okay. Uh, I saw on the internet, um, uh, guy, he's on Saturday Live, and he was engaged to Ariana Grande. Oh, that guy, the Davidson, Pete Davidson. Yeah. Pete Davidson. So I saw something on the internet with someone said, it looks like he always has butthole eyes. And now I'm like, and at first I was like butthole eyes. Yeah, he's, he's and then dating I like, Kate Beckinsale. The well, and now I look at him and I'm like, I see it now. Like, and and what it is is if you pull it up. <laughs> so just just pull up a rando photo of him, and I'll show you what I'm what I saw, what I interpreted that to be. So you guys, if you guys ever pull this up, so if you look from far away, let's just like look at this one. Do you see how it like is really darker towards the center? Right here, mm-hmm. or no, his his eyes. Right. Well, which po- photo? Uh, the first one. See how it's like uh-huh. it goes in darker towards right the here. center. Yeah, there's a, he's got the ring of the discolored around it. Right. And so, you know, it's like I liken it to like how you know how you get towards a butthole and it gets darker like around the butthole. He looks like Jerry Seinfeld fucked Toby Kebbell. <laughs> he's Nobody, got butthole eyes. No, most people won't know who that is. Now you can look now, him up. Now you're going to know that this guy has butthole eyes. There you go. Butthole eyes. Right there. Bing. It just discolored around the center. You don't get this. Nice I don't ring. really see I it. don't. I'm just saying he's got butthole eyes. Like, okay, in this picture right here? Yeah, he looks fine. Yeah, he looks great. Butthole eyes. <laughs> it's wrong about Seriously? Crohn's disease causing butthole eyes. <laughs> <laughs> She's a fucking airhead. See? I told you, I saw it on the internet, and I looked at the picture of him, and I was like, what? Like, what does that mean? And then, like, she I changed her name to Ariana Blonde. So, look at her. Look, look how fake she is. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's like her cheeks. Her nose. That's not her. Well, she's in a fucking... I mean, they're in a superficial yeah. business. I, I, you know, I, yeah, but she was fine before. It's just like, mm. Jesus Christ. I, I Look, I agree. It, it just... Do these people fucking sell out on a daily I, basis? I mean, it, see, her, see her smile here? Uh-huh. And then see her smile there? Uh, it's just like completely... Hollywood just fucking destroys people. Yeah. Ego destroys people. Makes no sense. Her eyebrow is higher. Yeah, how's that, how's that happen? Facelift. Damn. That's a that's a facelift. Oh, she had lip implants too. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Hey, either way, she's still bangable. Uh, no, 
Not anymore. Bullshit. You would like you you wouldn't nope. fucking turn that down. Nope. She fucked Pete Davidson. He has butthole eyes. <laughs> he has butthole eyes. <laughs> I don't want butthole eyes by proxy. I don't I don't find anything <laughs> interesting. Like I've listened to Pete Davidson and, and, and I mean come on, look. That guy's got butthole eyes. That guy looks like a fucking junkie. Yeah, he he looks like he's a meth head. I don't think he is, but Jesus. Dude, these hot women are always into fucking dudes like that, man. It's just I like don't, it's I, like no. almost like the rebel fuck you daddy kind of bullshit. You can't be you can't be on Saturday Night Live and be a fucking meth head. Oh, no. You, 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 John Belushi. Well, I mean, John Belushi, Belushi was wasn't meth. a meth. Chris Farley wasn't, wasn't on meth. meth. It's a fucking druggie, dude. A druggie's a druggie. I, I, it doesn't matter if you fucking meth. An upper's an upper. Meth, coke. It's No. No. There's no. He does look bad. You can't be on. You literally can't be on meth and be on fucking. Lauren Michaels will fire you. That's the first and foremost thing. Secondly. But coke's okay. It doesn't. That shit doesn't matter. It's people. It's in and out. So when when it comes right down to it, these guys on Saturday Night Live, their health is the first is a fucking primary concern, and if they're fucking if if they're if they're fucking everything up, they're gone. They're they are out the door. I'll tell you what. That's why they fire Chris Farley. Forty years ago, it didn't seem to be a concern with Belushi. Yeah, it wasn't a concern forty years 20 ago. Twenty years ago, it didn't seem to be a concern with Farley. It was a concern with Farley because Lauren Michaels fired him twice. Well, he died. Yeah. Yeah. That's not Die. that's not Lauren Michaels' fault. That's Chris Farley's fault. I would like to see another photo of butthole eyes. <laughs> Let's find a photo where it's just, just got actual just buttholes. Just Pete Davidson butthole eyes. Got just actual buttholes on his eyes. Just butthole eyes. I, I, that's what I was hoping I to see. I want to see other people. <laughs> <laughs> it automatically went to Pete Davidson. <laughs> <It> did. <laughs> see? <laughs> so like, okay, Sorry, so, Pete. So I want to see this, but I can't see so, it. I don't so see it. Down, right there. Scroll, no, yeah, but go. I mean, no, I just don't see options. it being How buttholes. How the fuck can you not see the butthole eye? <laughs> I mean, literally, have you ever seen a butthole? <laughs> Apparently not. I, a non-bleached butthole, a non-porn butthole, a non-porn. You, you, you're talking about. You, are we talking about? Are you wait, wait, wait. You're talking about because around the eye, the different shading. Is the that what fucking you mean? Yes. Butthole. All right. <laughs> I guess you call that. Okay. All right. I got That's you. That's butthole eye. Right I'm there. sorry. I was purposely looking at like a sphincter fucking right there. A sphincter eye like that. That that was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor shit. Just. just just <laughs> butthole eye makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're looking at a, a picture of Taylor Swift that they've actually photoshopped buttholes, buttholes on, on her, her eyes. eyes. It looks, looks like, like she's squinting. She's she's Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Just squinting oh. really, really hard. Oh. What was it la- last last show with the lubricated aunt, the tight, the tight narrowed eyes? <laughs> now we have Steve Buscemi. It looks like fucking David Carradine eyes. With other people's eyes. <laughs> okay, so click click on the uh, the picture with uh, Pete Davidson in the blue shirt, blue long sleeve shirt. Okay, no, 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 no. That one right there. That, that one with the blue shirt. The blue shirt. Go to the left. Click on it. Butthole eyes. <laughs> he he looks so unhappy in that picture. He looks unhappy in every picture. I think it's because he has butthole eyes. He's scratching himself like he's fucking he's on meth. <laughs> I, say, I I just said he's, he can't. Well, be hey, look, man. When people get to a certain level, they got to keep it amped up, just like with Sam Kinison and other people. And they get so used to being so hyped up all the time, they got to stay on shit to stay at that intensity level. What are we looking at? I don't know. Um, these are all photos of Pete Davidson before he commits suicide in the next two years. Um, I think <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Mosconada. Yeah. <laughs> Anus eyes. Oh <laughs> God, damn! That's an ugly. Oh God, damn! Uh, just, just keep looking. Just keep looking at. Just keep looking at. This yarn. Just keep looking at the hole. So I, oh. I, I keep thinking of the. Oh, don't look away. The song oh. from the fifties, "Pretty Little Angel Eyes." But it's like meatloaf. Pretty little anus eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Can we please just get another photo of his butthole eyes, not a picture of a shirt with a butthole on it? Hey, Trump with. Trump, <laughs> Trump with Trump mouth for eyes. That is not the picture I want. I want to see examples of him having butthole eyes. Why this is such an important thing. Okay, now show me a picture of a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> not on a shirt. Like an actual butthole. You can see the, the color change. Well, apparently, Kate Beckinsale's into dudes with butthole eyes. These are drawn photos. Ugh. I think your sphincter is the actual muscle, it's not the, the butthole. It's the, the sphincter that's, is the, the, that's the throat. It, I mean, because it's like a like a you know, it's the seal, right? So yeah. 
I love that we have to look up the butthole pick. I right, bet I'm you thought it was fucking, a butthole. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to that point, man. <laughs> yeah. I, I <laughs> That's an eye. That's it's a literal. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a guy. A guy f- oh, that's a guy. S- damn. Oh, gosh. Why do you always go to those pictures down there? You always go the wrong. You go into weird uh, shit when you do that. You there. just gotta scream. No. You wanted a butthole picture. I know, but I want it where you can see the color. Oh, there you go. See. <laughs> There, see, okay. that's, that's a color. Now, thing. yeah, then that, that, that right there confirms the Pete Davidson thing. Okay. Okay. I now got do you. you understand? Yeah, I totally get it. There. Okay. Now you know why they call the chocolate starfish. No, oh, I already knew about the chocolate. Uh, what the <laughs> fuck was that? That's a dog's butthole. Go back. Butt hole. No, go back. There was something else on there. That's a dog's butthole. <laughs> no. <laughs> those, are, those are cool. Mr. Poopy butthole. No, there was a picture before this, the screen. You had a Oh, whatever. I, you know what? I don't. Fuck this. I, I, yeah, that was. Oh, oh, God, the rosebud. That's so Rose nice. Rosebud. Let's call that a prolapse. <laughs> there you go. Oh, go-to. God damn it. It's two E's, actually. Oh. Put, the, put the second E up on it. You'll probably get the real one. No. Dude, this, we're going down a fucking hole, pardon the pun, that we're not going to be able to climb out of, man. you, you got to fucking stop well, dude, this. Dude, the goat's old news, We're sorry lacking this shit. I, I, I mean, but there was an actual picture of a guy doing that. Right now, you're just seeing... I had seeing a lot of people get pissed off at me for posting this one. Really? Yeah. Yes. The the real goatsy was like a real dude doing that, and so now you can just it, once you well, like, that's kind of what it looks like. Once, yes, the frog. Once you're in, once you're once <laughs> you've seen it, you see the goatsy and all all other things. Yeah, that's that's like a a picture of a portion of it. That's a portion of it right there. What the fuck is wrong with the world? The goatsy. That's what's wrong with the world. You like that word? You just keep on with the goatsy. It's a goatsy. I love saying goatsy. Oh, look! It's got a hamster coming out of it. Oh, it must be Richard Gere. Oh. <laughs> He's got Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Misa in the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> See? Oh, my See, God. See, you can put lots of things in the goatee. You but it's kind of funny because you can actually see like it in advertisements and stuff like that. Like, they do it in um, um, Warcraft. There is in one of the, um, in, in one of the uh, encounters. In Goatsy Jenkins. No. And one of the encounters where you're fighting somebody, he opens a portal, mm-hmm. and it's two hands ripping open. Oh, God. It's fucking hilarious. Oh, my God. It's horrible. And that's called a goatsy. Yeah. Right. Goat's ass it. is what it is. I don't, I don't know why they called it that. Goat's ass. It used to be goatsy.cx. Goat, goat sex. Okay. But somebody put a C in there. Oh. So they just took the X off the end. No. They didn't take the X off the end. It used to be called Goatsy dot C X. Oh, Goatsy dot okay dot C X. I thought you said uh, Goat it. Sex. It is. But they changed goat it. Goat Sex. Yeah. So but they, they had it. to put a C in there because that's the they didn't have a dot X domain. Yeah, that's too much of a pain. Yes. Goat Sex. And you would you used to be able sex. to sex in the days of the old internet, you would just put that in and there would be no filters or anything. It would just pop up with a giant picture of an old guy bent over and he was actually pulling his butthole huge and you could see like inside the butthole. I literally used to put that as a link on emails yeah. and say do not open this and then people would click on it. Of course they would. And then they would send me emails back and go why the fuck did you put this? I said I told you not to click I told on you it. you not to open it. And they're like uh, oh. Yeah kind of like lemon. And I would get like the I would get like the same five people clicking on it all the time. Yeah. Like, will you stop putting that in there? And then I would put it as a hidden link, so it'd be underneath under a separate thing, which would say, which would still say, "Do not click this link." All right, well, click, click. <laughs> like, why do you keep clicking it? I'm a gape. Literally. <laughs> you suck. There you go. You. Suck. God damn it! I don't want you to play. You suck, Mike. <laughs> well, th- it's only got a two second thing. Don't you hate it when you, you only have a two suck. second thing? See. No. No. We don't want to deal with that guy either. Hey. Yeah, fucking poo emoji. It hey. came out of a butthole. Hey. Hey. I'm going to have a huge long video yeah. just to have Stewie say you suck. No, that's that's uh, that, that guy's actually got some cr- cool now, shit. It, it, look, if you're going to do any kind of anal, isn't there supposed to be like some kind of preppage so to make sure that there's no mis- no accidents? Yes. Um. Yes and no. I mean, for chicks, like, I don't know if they, I'm sure they do that for porns, but I think if you're just doing just run in the mill anal, there really isn't a lot of prep. But uh, you're supposed gay to do dudes, like a, like a, like a, um, gay uh, dudes do enemas. Yeah, an enema. Yeah. That's what happens when you don't prep for anal. You're supposed to prep for anal uh-huh. so that there is no 
issues. Here's my thing. If I'm so, if, when a dude if, says, if "Let me, I, let me go use the restroom for a minute," they mean it for a different reason. Probably, yeah. maybe you should shower f- too. Let me go freshen up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shower enema. Yeah, the g- gay dudes void. do a whole prep. Void that out. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say void that shit out, but yeah, gay dudes do a whole. That's exactly prep. what it is. I'm not doing an enema for that. No, I mean if you're gonna have so then they're, they're if you're gonna have butt sex, have butt sex, but at least so technically there's up, not it's know? not well, I mean take a shower. Usually but there, I'm not there's do an not enema. usually spontaneous butt fucking. Then there's got to be a lot of prep in there that goes. No, along there's with spontaneous it. butt fucking. Yeah, and then it's just you deal with what you get. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I've heard that spontaneous butt fucking is the shit. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, and I think it's like where you get called shit. It's kind of like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. It's called hepatitis B. So sometimes it's not anything, and sometimes (coughs) it's everything. Sometimes you gotta wash some towels. And sometimes you get to see (laughs) corn in a new way. (laughs) Sometimes, Jesus Christ, Joe. So so it's not just towels. (laughs) Every everything, all the things. That's why it's called a cornhole, right? Uh, Sure. It is. That's why you have the the bags and the airmail. In the and hooker. The, and, the, and the hooker. In the shucker. And the sh- God, so awful. Yeah, so sh- I would say eagle. peg away. <laughs> peg away. Yeah. If you're uncomfortable with it, then get over it. Yeah. So he wants you to do it and you have are having fun. Holy shit, we were still on that whole fucking thing. Okay. God damn. Well, I mean, we did talk about, well, it was the fetish of the day too. So yeah, we, we, we kind of did the whole thing. Literally. What's your wine of the day? What's your poor decision? Oh, God. I, I really have made... Literal, I think poor decisions. Um, so for this for this wine, I uh, I picked up a rosé, a rosebud. Mm. I, I picked up a rosebud rosé. A blossom. Why can no one call it a rosebud rosé? That would be amazing. That's a great idea. Oh, and then put a prolapsed anus in it. Yeah, just put a picture of the round <laughs> donut or a goatsy or a goatsy on it. That'd be a great idea. Oh, here we go. Prolapsed bud. You have a goatsy with a fucking uh, rose in the middle. Oh. oh. So <gasps> pretty. <laughs> oh, that wasn't even a that wasn't even a rosebud. That looks like a looks like a snail coming like out of it. Like a fucking alien parasite <laughs> like coming snail. out of a body. There you go. <laughs> Bow or a prolapsed anus on this fake horse. So I picked up a rosé for three ninety nine. Um, it See, was that's, a, that's where the boys. That's where the guys go, graduating to to the extreme. I picked up a bottle of. Oh, okay. You're done. You're fucking <laughs> fired. <laughs> He's. <laughs> Why are you trying to look up prolapse anuses while I'm trying to talk about I don't know, wine? but that's that horse funny, is trying to fuck that that's cop. A fun, that's funny. That is <laughs> that funny. That's actually kind of funny. Part of the prolapsed anus crew. This is what I was looking for. Oh, God. No, don't lie. It. Sorry, sorry. Don't lie. That's not what you were looking I, for. I keep looking. I, like a well, fucking I don't idiot. know why you keep looking. I don't know. Morbid curiosity. <laughs> you know, I've seen that shit before. Why is there a box of all brand when you're looking up prolapsed, <laughs> prolapsed. anuses? No, I didn't look up prolapsed anus. It's so you won't get a prolapsed anus if you keep eating the brand. I, I was looking up... Rosebud. Ro- yeah, rosebud. Prolapsed rosebud. Then it's not... It's Then it's not... I've seen that in a fucking porno with a chick, man. And oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Better. Sorry, Joe. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, f- <laughs> whatever. Just long, I, you know, I, I'm already past the point of no return. He's, he's just... He's done. He's just done. Yeah. So this stuff was called, I'm going to fuck it up, Comte <coughs> Alexandre. Spell it. C-O-M-T-E. Comte. A-L-E-X-A-N-D-R-E. There you Alexandre go. Alexandre Rosé. So this stuff online, it, it comes, this is a 2017, and it, it comes off as that it's it's like dry and, and fairly good. I, I would say it, it's, it's really not great, Rosé. I'd say this is equal to box wine. Okay. Rosé. Um, so, you know, you could probably put other shit in it and make it work. It was dry. It's not a sweet wine. It's a, it's a true rosé. Um, it was 20% off of the three ninety nine. It does, did say that it retailed for nine ninety nine, and I did find it on the interwebs um, also for nine ninety nine. So I think that's a pretty standard price. So on the interwebs. On the interwebs. What was the other wine? Which one? The one before. It was uh, oh, the, the, oh, pause, the Chateau, Chateau Le Paz. That was Chateau a Merlot. Le Paz. Merlot. Merlot. Okay. Merlot. Fucking Merlot. And this is this is the the rosé, and it's it was not awesome. Um, I'm I'm finding as I did, 
a few shows ago, there was a Chardonnay, and I tried it, and I was like, eh, it's kind of tangy, but I guess it's not horrible, and I could still drink it, but when I was actually given a glass of really good Chardonnay next to it, huh. then it was like night and day. Like, that Chardonnay was delicious, and this one was super butthole. It was like... <laughs> super butthole? It was super butthole. Um, this rosé, I think, would be the same effect. I bet you if you handed me a good rosé and this, like, it would be distinct. However, not having a good rosé on hand, this this would probably make a fine wine cooler. Mm. So, I mean, not not for your dinner parties, but if you want to pick up something for $3 a bottle to make a nice wine cooler with, uh, it might be a better deal than some of your boxed wines. So, once again, I, I uh, took one for the team, and I drank it so you don't have to. <sighs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Are bad rosé. Are you guys ready? But I'm ready. so far, the worst one you've had so far since we started doing this, at, since you've been making your poor decisions, is the Chateau Le Paus. Yeah. Yeah. The dog, the dog Merlot. <laughs> the dog Merlot? The dog. The dog Merlot was bad. Okay. Yeah. It tasted like dog shit. Ready? Are we ready? Oh, yeah. All right. You, you, your turn, okay. turn to read. Ready? On the last episode... Of the lubricated aunt. The bed moaned. The eyes were closed. Their bodies moved in lewd response. Knees were bent. Lonnie saw cunts. And Wilma attacked. Cuntles? <laughs> Wilma attacked the other breast with a greedy kind of recklessness, getting rougher as both her hands hungrily massaged the firm, white, quivering mouth. Hungrily. Are we there yet? Wilma Gans was shifting around, still on her knees, as her mouth licked and sucked rawr. <laughs> I already Rawr. said that. Rawr. As Lonnie Lamont watched. Lonnie Lamont. Lamont. Eyes bulging, he saw the older woman's greedy mouth biting teasingly at the girl's softly curling pubic hair. As if it were still growing, I softly you. curling. The girl's eyes still closed, spread her legs even wider, and Lonnie took in the obscene sight. Wilma licking, her fevered eyes looking down at the girl's cuntle, which was splayed wide apart, <laughs> glittering with lubricated excitement. Glittering? It was pulsating and writhing as the girl pumped her hips in lewd abandon. I know I've already read this, but you are getting the full recap. Below her cunt, he could see the two tightly clenched cheeks of her buttocks crushed down hard into the mattress. <laughs> Legs were spread so wide, the thick cords of her tendons stood out on the insides of her thighs. The fuck? Almost if, as if by order, but more out of lewd instinct. Beth bent her knees and spread her legs further. Wilma reached down, and with the tips of her fingers, she spread the swollen lips of her vagina even wider and saw her cuntal in the membranous wall, thick with excitement in her tiny clitoris throbbing and extended, cuntal. waiting to be caressed. With I'm one thumb, she rolled the clit around and watched as Beth moaned deeply and jutted her hips up at an obscene angle. 78 degrees. I'm so turned on by the word membranous. And seemed to be silently begging for more. Bending her head, her tongue licked at the throbbing clit in front of her face. And Beth moaned louder. And her hands groped and found Wilma's hair and her fingers tangled in it. <laughs> Beth was almost unconscious. Yet she could feel thrilling electrical shocks of sensuous pleasure. Pleasure so physical and intense, she felt she could never live without it again. She was drifting in a black void of ecstasy and pleasure, and she wished it would never end. Outside, Lonnie watched as Wilma let the tip of her tongue flick back and forth over the girl's excitingly pulsating clitoris, and he saw it grow and throb as the girl practically became double-jointed in her efforts to thrust her lips up and get more of the delicious licking of the fiery tongue that was driving her to an even greater passion. Fiery time. Furry. Wilma was now sadistically taking her time, teasing the girl, arousing her even more. The girl's whole body was writhing now, her torso rippling and undulating, that proud, patrician face of hers distorted in lewdness. Her eyes were beginning to open, and her mouth was twisted by passion as the flickering, I edited that on purpose, as the flickering, tantalizing tongue was driving in her, her out of her dark void and into the cauldron of hot passion. <laughs> Wilma timed her move instinctively, 
her tongue suddenly gliding down the wet slit of Beth's cuntle and then driving home, worming hotly into the deep pulsating recesses of the widespread passage. Beth went wild. Her knees bent. She lifted her hips and her whole body clear off the bed, only her heels and the nape of her neck still on the bed, and her hips rotated and pumped madly as she wanted to get more of that maddening tongue shoved up her cants where it would wiggle and drive her insane. Cants. With a cry of animal frustration, she fell back on the bed and pulled her knees tight up against her chest, crushing her breast as she spread her legs as wide as they could possibly go. And Wilma was using her hands to push her thighs wider apart as she attacked with cant, attacked the cant with her mouth like a woman got mad. Her whole mouth looked over the tiny lubricated hole. I said, look, I meant lock. And she sucked, relishing the taste of Beth's cuntful juice. And her tongue darted in and out of the cant, <laughs> probing deep into the hot, cavernously, carnivorously, s- cavernously sucking interior. <laughs> Into the hot, carnivorous, carnivor, carnivorously sucking interior. That is um really interesting. Does this guy have a fucking thesaurus? As uh, Beth moaned and thrashed with delight one. on the bed, murmuring over and over, "Oh, that's good. Do it, do it, do it to me, to me, do it to me." <laughs> that's so bad. I, if he's going to use the thesaurus, he should really find out what the definitions are. You mm-hmm. should learn how to spell too, because cans and c- maybe it's he was like getting turned down by his own words. And Wilma was getting rough now, using the strength that That's an how active they do it in the country. Western life had endowed her with. <laughs> this is good shit. Oh God, they did throw the Western life again. Oh no. Yep, her nails dug into Beth's thighs, and she teasingly sucked a bit at her clitoris, while the insanely aroused young teacher bucked and thrashed around widely on the bed, her hair flying in all directions. Both the bodies were covered with sweat now as they struggled obscenely with one another. Beth was like another woman. Always before she had been the consciousness of him, the impre- she had been conscious, not the consciousness, conscious? the cunt, the cuntal the of the impression, impression she was making on Full others. Full cuntal nudity. And so it was rare when her movements and manners weren't something she hadn't practiced for years. Now what she did and how she looked were far from her mind. All her dignity was gone. All she wanted was to satisfy the hot all-consuming lust in her body. She twisted, turned, and bucked, pumping her hips hungrily under the camp boss's wife's maddening tongue. She surprised herself with lewdness and strength, with her teeth gritted and animal sounds tearing out of her throat. She bounced and twisted in her orgasm, searching desperation until she... Fucking Christ. Until she felt them (laughs) rolling, and then she suddenly put her hands out and found she was on top of the other woman. Damn. They had rolled completely over, and Wilmer was under her. I said Wilmer. Yes, I know. Wil- S- Wilmer still hanging onto her thighs, Fizz? her nails digging into <laughs> Beth's tender flesh and hurting her in a way that only increased the heat and the excitement. Her mouth was still locked on Beth's cunt, sucking and licking in a maddening way. Maddening. Beth raised her body off the bed on her hands and slightly bent knees. Wasn't she on top? I and think felt so. the throbbing pleasure in her groin and pumped her hips lewdly and obscenely, pressing down on Wilmer's mouth when pulling away, then pulling away, as Wilmer dug her nails in deeper and sucked all the harder. Beth undulated and pumped, the nipples of her breast jiggling and rubbing on the blanket underneath and intensifying her lust as Wilma began rhythmically fucking her tongue in and out of her cunt. There's a lot of commas missing here. Yeah. And she could feel her orgasm inside of her like a wild beast churning and thrashing around a lot of analogies metaphors too looking for a way for for a way to freedom uh, it would be free freedom. it would be free god damn it where's the mel gibson it freedom why did we need an exclamation freedom. point after that there was no denying it it found its direction. It found its direction. Turning like some mythical beast full of strength of the gods. I used a map. <laughs> rushed like a starburst of white hot lava. And I hate that flavor of starburst. And Google <laughs> Maps toward her <laughs> tormented <laughs> cunt and Judd Can's wife persistently sucking mouth. Three. Judd Can's wife. But if it's a tight and unrelaxed ass. It's an unhappy ass. Not right for pigging. Bam. And there we will end it. Google Maps. 
Google Maps. It's going to find its way free. But I was so built up with the intensity in my meta... What was the word? Metaphor? Can no. Ca- metaphysical? Carnivorously? Car- cavernously? Cavernously. No. Metaphoric. Uh, no, fucking... I can't even remember the damn word. Metaphoric? No, it wasn't metaphoric. It was something... Yeah. Uh, it was... Uh, it Analgesic? Was is there a topical cream for that? What's our drink of the day? Our drink of the day is the papaya pickle fingers. Oh. <laughs> mm, delicious. Mm. <laughs> I don't think papaya. pickle and papaya should go together. Uh, it's hot buttered rum. Hot buttered cuntle. Or I, or it could also be called the prison purse because that's what's right above the <laughs> fucking <laughs> the recipe. Mm. <laughs> no, that's the name of that's the title Ooh, of the show. I'll have one of those. The hot, <laughs> the hot sucking prison purse. All right, so listen up, y'all. <laughs> oh, we're using that. I, the, that guy cannot make. It, it makes it sound like, yeah, like you said, you've never been so turned off by lesbian porn. Yeah, it's fucking I've, never, I've never been so turned off by. I mean, like we have porn music running. We have Ron Jeremy talking. I'm trying to do like the sexy. It's not really sexy voice, but I can't with that. You know, I'm trying to just read it as you know, in in the this calm manner, and and just now you know why I stopped and go like, does your what? Like that doesn't even make any sense. Am I reading that right? Like, gotta remember where we. It's just the mythical beast of starburst. (laughs) Starburst of white hot lava. (laughs) Yeah, you know, white hot lava. Technically, to go with this episode, it should be called hot butter uh, bum. Chocolate <laughs> starfish hot lava. Butthole eyes. <laughs> Starburst chocolate I don't know why that makes me laugh so much. Hot butthole eyes. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> butthole eyes. Butthole eyes. Oh, God. Do you think you might get pink eye from that? <laughs> Constant pink eye. No, Scott Payo gives you pink eye. <laughs> Duh. All right, so listen up, y'all. Two cups of water is what you're going you're gonna to start this off with. For the hot buttered butthole eyes. Yes. yes. Then you're going to use prison purse. a quarter of a cup of unsalted butter, okay. a quarter cup of packed dark brown sugar, anus eyes, two, <laughs> one teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg, mm. quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. I disagree with Making that. I hate cloves. Pie. Cloves are fucking gross. Uh, quarter eighth. One eighth. I'm sorry. One eighth. Quarter eighth. What, quarter the, what eighth. the fuck is a quarter eighth? You dumbass. Well, That'd be two. I think it's a really, really small amount of weed. It's one thirty second. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One eighth of a teaspoon of salt, and two thirds of a cup of dark rum. Why is the rum always gone? Why is the rum always dark? <laughs> All right. Uh, for preparation, you need to bring the water, the butter, the brown sugar, the cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and the salt. To a boil. No, 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 no. You gotta read that again. Sexy voice. Oh, because it's actually better than reading the fucking book. <laughs> Bring the water, the butter, the brown sugar. Oh, the cinnamon, the nutmeg and cloves. It's not sexy. And salt to a boil in a one and a half to two quart saucepan over moderately high. Reduce heat and simmer, <laughs> whisking occasionally for ten glorious minutes, and then remove from the heat and stir in the rum. Serve it hot. That's not sexy, Joe. And enjoy. It's fucking retarded. Mm-hmm. Serve. So not only does the um, story turn us Sorry. off from lesbian oh. porn, but now I am not interested in the hot buttered rum. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, granted, it sounds like shit anyway. <laughs> you know what this rum needs? Melted butter. <laughs> do, do you know, I'll put fucking <laughs> butter on Skittles. Who cares? <laughs> Thank you, John Caparello. What about Starburst? Yes. <laughs> you, but you could have... White hot lava buttered starburst. John Caparello. Starfish burst. Come inside me. <laughs> oh, that's four minutes. I don't want to do it. Yeah, we don't want to do four minutes of that guy. Okay. We're good. <laughs> John Caparello. about putting butter he, on starburst? Yeah, he literally just says, I'll put fucking butter on starburst. I don't care. I don't know. I don't care. 
ever done a sandwich, all right? If you pull into McDonald's, you pretty much decided, you know what, the hell with my 70s, all right? I don't care. Right? I don't, I don't, it's not even real cheese. Well, it's playing the part, all right? So if it's cheese, it's cheese and stunt double, all right? Just leave my lunch alone, all right? I don't need abs, dude, all right? I need salt and pickles and stuff, all right? And food, all right? Cheese is <laughs> stunt double. It's 2006. Can we just get along? Can we just have Coke and Pepsi in the same building? Is it that big a deal? Do we have to draw a line everywhere? Yeah, exactly. Every time I go to a restaurant, what would you like to drink? Can I have a Coke? Oh, is Pepsi okay? Is Monopoly money okay? Because no, all right? <laughs> Stop pushing stuff nobody wants, all right? Stop pushing stuff nobody likes, all right? Like orange popsicles. <laughs> Fuck yes, orange. Person, all you got left is orange. And your mom's not going to buy new popsicles because why didn't you finish the last box? Because all we got is punk ass orange. All right, that's why I need the last box. Why well, I'm not buying new popsicles? Well, there goes my whole freaking summer then, doesn't it? I'm saying, I wish I'd do I wish I was, I talked about more important stuff. Like, I wish I could tell jokes like about the president, but I don't know shit. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> How could you miss that? I guess I got more channels than you do, dude. <laughs> this is the, I want him talking about oh, fucking I want, butter. Oh, I want to talk about his butter. I don't want to tell you, dude. Yeah. I just don't want to fucking. Yeah, you're gonna have to. They don't just always have it. <sighs> Jim Brewer, alcohol. I I played the uh, the Jim Brewer Sears thing for Joe. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's fucking epic. <laughs> Jim Brewer working at Sears Valley Stream. Long I've heard Island. the made-for-TV version, and I've heard the un- uninhibited Opie and Anthony version. Well, you heard some. Of, you didn't hear the whole, yeah. but you heard most of it, yeah. The, the uninhibited version is much better. It you is. stick a pink in up your ass. Both are good, though. He, I mean, he, the guy v- is an excellent storyteller. So. Either way. Hot buttered rum. As far as what you said about the hot buttered rum and how it might have all been goatsy. Yeah. <laughs> That's how most real drinkers feel about hot buttered rum. And I didn't know that. What? It sucks. Yeah, it's, it's disgusting. It's fucking terrible. I wouldn't want cinnamon in there, and I, I wouldn't want the fucking I, I cloves think it's, in there. I think it's one of those old English drinks, yeah, like wassail and hot buttered rum. Wassail? Here we go, the wassailing? Yeah, that's a real drink. I did not know that wassailing was a drink. Yeah, well, wassail is a drink. I thought it was is a, a drink. hunting thing. You go a wassailing. I think you guys are wassailing right now to keep the show going. Hot mulled cider. Huh, I learned something new today. But it's today. like with wine Ugh. and shit. It's, it's not Yeah, good. it's right there. A medieval Christmas tide English drinking ritual. Yeah. Hot mulled cider, drunk traditional. Just give me some mead. <laughs> oh, you can make easy homemade wassail. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's gross. Uh, with a cinnamon stick in it. Yeah. Nasty shit. Do you, I mean, do you eat the cinnamon stick? Is that like just no. a drinking a cup of melted Werther's Originals? Yes. With rum? Yes. Blah. I like rum. I, I love mean, I Werther's like, Originals. I like Fuck. butterscotch, so. Well, there you go. You but yeah, I don't want the th- all the spices this. in there. You should try this. I'll never try that because there's too much sugar in it. No, I'm not going to try it because it sounds like it sounds like bad. Ass. Sounds we bad. We have to try. We're gonna have to try these recipes, you know. Ugh, yeah, I, I mean, I'll take a sip of some shit just as so you say I can taste. It. I've tasted it, but I'm not drinking. I'll tell you what. If you, I know that I don't usually like to have a lot of content ahead of time, so you guys get my unadulterated confusion on stuff. Yeah. But um, if you um, come up with drink stuff. I can I can doctor up stuff, yeah. bring things, and we can try it. Well, I think what we need to do is start tailoring some of these things. Like, I'm going to start looking up uh, recipes for ginger beer and stuff like that. Yeah. M- different mixtures. Because. Ooh, then we could have our own micro brewery. Mm. <laughs> oh, Michael, that's amazing. That sounds fantastic. I'm just going to play them all. <laughs> Eventually. Someday. <laughs> Still the best one. You suck. <laughs> oh no. I don't know why that one. You wasn't. suck. You're a loser. Loser. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. It's definitely. Is why you fail. 
Oh, Yoda. <laughs> it's impossible. There's too much sound in there. Yeah. Mm, they put like extra dings in there. I it may be from the Game Boy. Oh, maybe. It's a dead. That's that one's it. the right one. There we go. <laughs> All right. <coughs> ding, oh, ding, 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 ding. What do we have for him, Johnny? We have a cocktails out. I should have played it. Get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Fuck you. <laughs> that was passive aggressive. <laughs> I like that. We have to keep that one too. Fuck you. All right, there we go. Consider us fucked. Yeah. Did you fart? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and I held my fucking fart in the whole goddamn episode, and you just fucking blurt yours out. I hope we caught that on fucking mic. <laughs> I didn't even know that until you called it out that it was one. I was like, I didn't even think I, of it. I wasn't even sure. It was just like, <laughs> I was like, did she move the chair? Oh, I guess, I guess, I guess she's got her own thing. version of cocktails out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cocktails coming out. I realized that I forgot to tell my story. On the air. Oh, t- tell your story. <laughs> no, but it's too late now. Why is it too late? Because <laughs> it's because we're already done. Cocktails back in. <laughs> You're going to you gotta, cocktails out and people are going to stop listening and they're going to miss the story. <laughs> you might have to put this into the soundbite as something else later. So hey, if you take a picture uh, um, of your of your girlfriend. I like, can remove the cocktails out. Okay. So. It, you just would you call it JPEGging? JPEGging. <laughs> JPEG. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> okay, so. I was down at this at this conference, and usually we get pretty hammered on the party nights or or the client nights where we take clients out or whatever. And we didn't this time, which was odd for us, our my group, my bosses and I. But um, we went to bed fairly early, so the next day I'm showering in the hotel shower to get ready to go to conference for the next day. And so oddly enough, I was neither a still drunk from the night before, nor was I hungover. I actually had sleep. So I'm in the shower and I get all done and I get out and I was like, oh shit, I forgot to bring the towel over. Cause you know, you're in the hotel. So everything's a little cattywampus. And sometimes they have the little rack with them there anyways, but this was not the case. And so I, I actually had to like, I opened up the shower curtain and they're, they're right over there across the sink. So I was like, okay. So I step out and um, I'm going out. And so I step onto the bath mat with my left foot and I lean way over and I grab the towel and as I'm coming back up, my right foot that was in the tub fucking slipped. <laughs> and all I know is that I start going. So this is like the classic, like, oh, my God, I'm fucking falling in the shower right now. <laughs> Timber! So, oh, my God. And I know that I tried to catch myself at some point because I hit myself in numerous spots all over. And it was like probably one of those weird. Like Eddie like, Murphy's videos. aunt falling down the stairs. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. And I thought about that too. Totally. Oh, Jesus, help me. I'm falling in the tub. Oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord. But you, Aunt Bunny. I'm halfway down. <laughs> That was me trying to fall in the shower and <laughs> trying to grab onto stuff. <laughs> All wet and slippery. <laughs> like, a, like a newborn. What the <laughs> fuck was that, Gus? Like a newborn baby. Goony Google. So you watch the Bigfoot, Gus. <laughs> and so I tried to grab myself and I couldn't do it. But I do know that with my left foot kicked up somehow the bath mat because it went flying and it ended up landing like half over the tub like I had hung it to dry. Bath mats aren't supposed to and fly. I, my knee that I was already injured from falling falling on my ass in front of the gym that I go to a couple of months ago, like in front of everyone in the sliding doors. I hit that knee on the side of the tub, of course, fuck it up more. And then I figured this is where I die. And so I end <laughs> I'm up going to get impaled laying, on the fucking laying on the sober. Of you the died sober. Tub. <laughs> totally. <laughs> right. With in a, a bathtub. She oh, fell. Shit. The soap bottle went up her ass. She dies. <laughs> She dies. Sober. Which, how, and everybody would have been like, well, her blood alcohol level. And the doc, the you. autopsy would have been like, no, actually, she was good there. But it went, what? Yeah. No, she so, slipped and fell. And uh, no, she just, she's just retarded. Yeah. That's what happened. She's. Well, like, she must have been drunk off her ass. Nope. She was nope, clean. She was completely sober. Oh, my but God. But stupid. 
What so, a horrible it, death. Does anybody want the shampoo bottle? And I fell, I landed on my back, and all I can remember thinking of, this is how it ends. <laughs> like, you have that moment, you're like, this is how it all ends. Hey, you didn't your, your head on the fucking shower I, faucet I or anything. I didn't. Thank God it was on the other end. I Nor on the, the soap other dispense, end of the, tub. the soap holder? No, there wasn't one. Yeah. Thank God, because that would have been, I would have, uh, I would have knocked myself yeah. out. I, 100%. Like, there was no you, death just flies before yeah. your eyes like i'm gonna die here so i'm laying on the bottom of the tub thinking so this is how it all ends and then i'm like oh my god like if i just keep laying here they're gonna have to come find me wet cold naked fat in the bottom of the tub and i was trying to not get my hair wet because i had blown it dry straight and so i was trying to get second day hair so i also had a shower cap on as attractive as those are so there i was naked and wet on the bottom of the bathtub with a shower cap on thinking lying oh there God. in pain so i i i actually used there was a grab bar in there which i did not use when i was trying to fall down but grabbed it to pull myself up and thankfully i hadn't hit my face and i wasn't bleeding or anything like that did you lay in the tub and just look up the ceiling and go ah, this is my I, life i kind of yes i did <laughs> but i had this that, is how today's gonna go this is i was like well it's like i was like this is how it all ends because i didn't know if i'd hit my if i was bleeding or anything at that point oh so yeah like, that euphoric feeling as your body's like, going into shock yeah <gasps> This is, and I had that moment of like, I can't be found here like this. And so I just pulled myself up. And as I pulled myself up, I'm like, I don't even know if my leg's going to work because how I hit my knee. And you hear Simon and Garfunkel start to play. <laughs> and there was no bath mat to step onto. So my other thought was, I'm going to step out and slip on the floor and fall again. <laughs> Didn't do that. So then I actually texted my boss because I was like, You're never going to believe this. Garfunkel. I just. I just fell down in the shower like a shitty sitcom scene. And he texts back and says, are you dead? And I had that moment Almost. where I actually thought, oh, my God, am I? <laughs> I, know, the, uh, I, I Did you text him back and say, why would you text me, are you dead? Are you? <laughs> if I was dead, would you still be waiting for a reply? <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's I, I could have been hallucinating the whole thing in my death. I don't know. You know what? Once, he asked, you if you were, in my once he asked you if you were dead, you shouldn't have responded at all. I just I wrote back and I said, dude, I don't know. I could be because we're going to see if anybody says anything to me in the hall Maybe or if they think I'm invisible. from the afterlife. <sighs> so that's that's how I got this giant bruise on my side and my elbows fucked up and my knees even worse. And it's because I'm an idiot and I fell in my hotel shower. <laughs> just looking up at the ceiling. Just looking going, up with a shower cap on. Ah, shit. So attractive. So attractive. Are you looking for the sounds of silence? Yes. I was looking for something. <laughs> I was looking for something a little bit more appropriate. Than you the do the Will Ferrell version of uh, Sounds of Silence. For oh wait, no, no, I'm sorry. That's the Dust in the Wind. My bad. That was Will Ferrell's Dust in the Wind from Old School. Oh, uh, Lil Wayne. Today. You want to hear Lil Wayne? Fuck today. Gore. <laughs> I, I'm standing over here. I'm Lil Wayne. There's a. They have I'm a smoke some weed. And I'm a, I'm a fuck this busy. one. <laughs> <laughs> do love guar fuck this place <laughs> at 52 <laughs> seconds there we go there you go all yeah. right fuck this place okay so uh take two no you don't even have to say it because i can just fucking edit oh you might as well cock tails out fuck you fuck me no or fuck, fuck you, you.